Salutations, my fellow Clinkers. My name is Drunker, and today we are going to be playing another episode of Clinkers Incorporated. So, you might be wondering, where are we? <laughs> well, I decided to go exploring just to get some netherrack, and I managed to find one. However, um, we are quite far away from home. Uh, as you can see, we're in some sort of creepy forest um, in the middle of nowhere. So, let us go and... Uh, try to find our way back okay so it's quite creepy out here we could be seeing like some monster here I was actually trying to find more andesite uh, I just found some diorite though what's that oh it's a bear what the oh my god stop stop pole dancing oh my god my character is so obsessed with pole dancing for some reason yeah, we are quite far away from spawn, so, uh, I guess we should continue on and find ourselves a place to stay. Yeah, I I tried to put a, a little bit of some storage here, but, uh, I failed to do so. Anyway, let's get out of this forest. Okay. We made it to the end. We didn't, but <laughs> we we did, but we kind of fell. I'm trying to find a waystone so we can just teleport there and uh, bring our stuff back. Um, it has been quite difficult because I couldn't find. There was a structure, but I think that structure is a pillager outpost. Don't think I can find one there. Hope there's no crocodiles. Ooh, we're like you know we are we're like. Uh, going through that, uh, what's this? You know that one episode, uh, it was called A Quest for the Lost Mixamajig? Yeah, A Quest of for the Lost Mixamajig? Yeah, we're like them! We're like those, the clink, we're like, uh, clinkers navigating through this forest. Ooh! Whoa. Oh, boar! You know, if we ever do a river monsters, uh, type of, uh, Gameplay, this biome would be a perfect spot, a perfect uh, mod for it. Like, imagine like trying to get all the fish. There's not a lot of fishing mods though. That's the thing. I feel like the series would be a bit short. Maybe uh, hmm. Okay, we're out of the creepy bayou. Now we're in a more creepy biome. What is this? Why are we in creepy town right now? To be honest, it would be good in the complimentary shaders, but here it just looks like we're in Slender Man. <gasps> oh my god! A oh, waystone! Ah, we can finally get back home! Oh my god! I thought we'd never find a, a, a waystone. Oh, there's so many llamas here. But this is how far we've gotten. Yeah, we went so far. Anyway, let's go back home. We're back. Okay, I can set up for the next episode. Yay. Okay, so now that I've set up for the next episode, or this episode, I would say. Oh yeah, also look at my cute little axolotl hat that I have. I set up. Uh, the to-do list for this episode. I also started on some things. Um, Flamingo, I don't think so you should be near there. Uh, well, I guess we'll try to get that Flamingo out of there. But anyway, for this to-do list, yeah, there's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a lot. So first I wanted to go to the nether and get a blaze. You'll see why. Then we need to build the clinkers headquarters smelt some clay for bricks, and figure out the iron situation. So if you don't know what the iron situation, uh, it's this one. So this is, uh, so I've been getting a lot of machines here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to use any of these. So uh, I'll have to research on these during my spare time, and then I'll show you a demonstration of how it works, or we can do it together. So 
one particular thing I need is this blaze burner. And in order to get this uh, to light up, we need a blaze. So we have to go to the nether and get ourselves a blaze and go back home without dying. So yeah. Now normally the it would be a bit difficult because we can't get ourselves an obsidian, but thanks to this diamond pickaxe that we got, uh, well actually I got uh, while I was exploring, I actually discovered this like huge tower. Hold on, I'll show it in the map. But I was like exploring it and then I found this huge tower Actually, it's not far from where we are, so yeah, it's this one, the one with the warp stairs. Uh, and it had a lot of loot inside, but what makes that interesting is that there is also a skeleton spawner. So that could be used for our levels. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, I don't think it's that far that, it, that we need the cost. It's only like a distance from here to here, and then the village is like... Here to here. So what we're going to do is that we are going to be uh, doing all of those today. Hopefully I've memorized all of these. And I'm glad that we have our trusty mending unbreaking iron shovel. And I uh, hope our flamingo can last long here. Because since you, we kind of accidentally hatched you, I will keep you as a pet. Oh there you are. Just don't go too far okay. I'll find myself, I'll find you a name tag and I'll name you. Or maybe we might have a name tag and I completely forgot. Then we'll name you. Hopefully you don't die. It's the third episode, okay? It's too early. Too early for some monsters to die. Can we craft name tags? Unfortunately, I don't think we can. Oh, we can get ourselves a fishing rod. Hmm. But do I want to fish now? Nah, I feel like we should probably build our house. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, we couldn't find my- I couldn't, I couldn't find a better axe in that one, so this is gonna be, like, really annoying. Unless maybe there's a better axe than this, uh, 0 0.8 one. So anyway, let's go to, uh, mainland and, uh, find some... Let's find some goodies. Wait, I forgot my sleeping bag. Are you kidding me? Sorry, let me just go back. I forgot my sleeping bag and my uh, waist. Okay, waist stone and sleeping bag. I can't believe I forgot those. Those are the most essential things. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to walk to the this place here. A lot of oh, is this? Maybe we can get some of the trees here. There's this, there's this uh, mulvey leaves, but I don't think it's really suitable for an industrial type. I do like the brick. Wait! Hold on, actually. You know, I've been looking at these buildings here, and I think it, what would be great is that if we can get some terracotta. And we are near a mesa. Uh, the nearest mesa... Oh, actually, the nearest mesa is just not too far. And it's also where the, the witch hut is. Okay, hold on. We're going to be going there on an expedition to retrack our steps and to get to this place. Ah, it's on the right of us. And it's also turning nighttime. Oh dear. What the heck? Making love with a tree? That's new. Oh, you know, technically, uh, Volga did that. <laughs> okay, stop. That sounds creepy. What the? Where are we? Are we? Okay, we're getting closer. Oh, <gasps> wait. I think I know what this is. Oh, yeah, you're that guy. Yeah, you're from the Blue Skies mod. Hold on, let me, uh, let me get uh, a certain something so I can, uh... There. So yeah, there should be a new tab for all of the Blue Sky stuff. 
Okay, so the tower should be... There it is! I see the tower! This is where I found all of the... Thing. Wait, I didn't realize, but the wall's full of andesite. Oh! Hmm. Interesting, interesting. We'll put the waste on here. Monster spawner. There you go. Yeah, so this is where it is. It's a very calm house. But we'll make it so for our needs. This is what it looks like. I actually found this while I was exploring. Then there's this room, which is a wall. And this is where the chest was. This is a cool, this is a cool base, honestly. So glad I found it. Well, anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to do here in this place. Let's first do the stuff on the list. So go to the nether and get a blaze. Mm, we need some gravel though and some iron. We already have some iron. So yeah, we'll go see um, if there are any... Oh yeah, um, there's a thing on spawn. There's also a pillager camp that spawned somewhere. Hmm. Should we get this, these now? I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to dash up on space. Let's also go near the portal. This is where I found the... Oh yeah, we can get the gold blocks now. Ooh. Okay, so here is the spawn point. Yippee! Anyway, uh, let's clear this out. This is going to take a while, so... Bear with me. Okay, so I got ten, all the 10 obsidian so we can get ourselves a nether portal for our base. Yay! Okay, so I may have uh, left it recording, but what I did was that uh, I decided to build a nether portal here. Uh, and I also checked out if, the, if this is near my spawn point, and it is. That means I don't need uh, to get to use some levels in order to teleport, so that's good. So you can come here anytime. So I decided to use this uh, part over here. Um, sorry if it looks a bit incomplete, but yeah, and <laughs> that's not good for... yeah. Anyway, uh, this is where I decided to put my nether portal so we can just go into the nether every time. I mean, it's a good thing that this is a wizard tower, so yeah. So, we've got the mysterious nether portal. And I have a feeling that uh, we're gonna overheat a lot, so... We're going to need to wear our armor to get in. After all, we do need a blaze and... Okay, I get it. But, uh, I think we'll go by sundown. And, uh, we will find ourselves... A... what's this? A blaze. So, I'll see you when it turns sundown. And while I do that, I'll, uh, do some research about the mods that I, I installed. So, yeah. Okay, we are ready. It is already the next day, so we will go into the nether now, and hopefully we don't die. So we we, we need to put this, so then uh, it will be much easier for us to get the blaze. I'm scared. Ow! Ow! 
Ow! Oh god! Where's the nether fortress? scared me. What? I mean, I love that, but I don't think so I have any of these. Okay. So we have two bad news. One, uh, unfortunately, we, we did not spawn near a nether fortress. So this is really bad. Uh, the second bad news is... Unfortunately, I don't think our equipment is enough for us to sustain here. So that's a bit tragic. I also kind of forgot where we're supposed to be going. Uh-oh. Ugh! Ow! Can you please get away from me? Ow! Oh, shoot! Ow! 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 Guessing this will be a bit annoying when we uh navigate this biome. Hmm. Is there seriously no other place we can go? Oh my god. You want? I come in peace. Hey, I come in peace. Here. Take. Take gold! Oh my god. You stupid- Attack the- Attack the thing! Not me! The- The Hooglin! Ow! Ow! What is that? Ah, okay, so why did I go to the nether without, uh... Without, a, without stone or any equipment? That's a bit tragic. Seriously, can't we, can we just find this stupid thing? Oh my god, where is it? Do we just have to hope we can find one? That's probably going to take a while. A strider! <gasps> oh, A baby! Uh oh. Are you for pizza? Oh my god, we are going to a bastion. <gasps> no! Wow, our sanity is actually doing a lot better. Ever since we keep placing torsets. Tor ah, there's a mosquito. Come on. Oh my god, ow! Did you see that? Oh, sorry. It's right in my face. Hey, you Oh no. Ugh! Get out of here. Oh, if I steal their loot, I might, you know. <gasps> Stupid mosquito. I am so sorry that you have to see that. That's the reason why I'm making this 18 plus. Oh my god, what are you? You stupid mosquito! Oh no. Why 
why am I going into this? Why am I reading a Bastion? I don't know what to call this episode. Should I record both episodes today, episode 3 and episode 4, and just call this Accidental Nether Adventure? It's kind of basic though. We have uh, Andesite Adventure and... Uh, Oh, oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah. Hello, my fellow clinkers. Uh, you're probably wondering why uh, <laughs> it's a bit different. I'm recording this uh, because the third episode was a bit scuffed and... Uh, the fog got corrupted. So, I, I want to tell you a bit of a backstory of what happened during the nether. So, I lost a lot of stuff and I kept repeatedly dying. It was really annoying and I didn't want this to affect the experience and for the sake of my IRL sanity. So, I did a few adjustments. I removed the survive mod and added two new mods which I'll be... Uh, actually I'll just announce it now. So I added the Thirsos Taken and I added JI Config uh, so I can unlock that option. So um, so there's one good news. Uh, during the time while I was away, I managed to find uh, something good which I'll also announce in the next episode and I can't believe it um, that all I had to do was just find a buy, uh, use a certain item, well, it's called Nature's Compass, to get there. Uh, however, there is a bad news, and it is a really big bad news. I lost my traveler's backpack. And you guys know that I had two books, which is the to-do list, and a very important book that I was supposed to be saving it for a future episode. I lost that one. Gladly, uh, it was only like a few episodes, but I guess that's a lesson learned that I should not be keeping a book around like in that in my backpack and I should just uh, place it in my house instead. So yeah, it was also really annoying. I put this Hooglin as a warning sign never to download that mod ever again or else this happens. This one. So anyways, uh, I'm actually going to be recording the fourth episode, uh, but I just wanted to get some clarification. Um, I can show you some clips of what happened there, because I kept overheating, it was really annoying, and uh, yeah, here are some clips. Note to self, always have a fire resistance potion with you. I don't think that's gonna work, unfortunately. Hold on. What? But I have a fire resistance potion, that's impossible. What? So that is it for the third episode of Clinkers Incorporated. I hope you enjoyed. It is, it is a little short because I got really annoyed. But hopefully in the next episode... Ah, well that's tragic. But hopefully in the next episode that things will get a little better. And I hope to see you um, in the next episode. Yeah, that's where I will see you. I would say I'll see you in a different bit. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you. Bye-bye. I believe in love, that's true. I'm a sucker just like you. But real love don't stand a chance. An absurd pop song right